And uh, again, it makes a big difference. I mean, would you want to know about an organization that, that guarantees your pension? Would you want to know that organization is out there is doing the right thing to, to, to protect you in case anything happens? Again, here we go with, you know, corporate organizations that through some failing financially, some actually through loopholes in the law, which thanks to President Reagan, they were able to get away with this crap. A lot of corporations were running around and, and, and they were borrowing money against the pension funds and then defaulting on that. And then they would drop the pension funds to the PGC. And then they, the, and they are responsible for guarantee, guaranteeing, I think, one out of six Americans' pensions in, in this country. Yeah, the the pension benefit guarantee corporation. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 scary, you know, right. because when you look at the fact that people work all their life, take their hard earned money, you know, contribute it to a pension fund, expecting you know to have some some um, you know relief when once they retire, and now the the regulation, not even the regulation, but the administration of that by such a major institution like the um, Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation is in jeopardy. You know, it's questionable whether or not they're doing the correct practices, whether they're hiring the right people in order to do what they're supposed to do, as well as the fact that, you know, they're now, you know, it's alleging that they're giving, um, giving false information. I mean, they're, they're So they're lying. <laughs> yeah. They're lying. That's a nice way of saying it. I mean, they're basically saying, yeah, we remember when you told us to clean up these issues. Yeah, we cleaned them up, and then you find out that they didn't clean them up. You know, mm -hmm. and the, and and the explanations that they've been giving is, you know, oh, it's a miscommunication between departments. You know, so and so said it was, you know, you know they communicated the information. Either you did or you didn't. You know, right. it, it's it's coming down to we can accept that double talk if you're talking about advertising, you right. know, or a sale on, you know, something mm -hmm. that you, but if you're talking about something as, as integral to the, um, the community, you know, the, right. the entire population as their pensions being guaranteed, we can't accept that double talk. One, I think we need to hold corporations more accountable. I think that they need to be forced to pay more money into the pension fund because it's not at this particular point solvent, at least if it, if it, if, um, they had to pay out what the what the uh, debts are versus uh, what the amount of money they have on on uh, on um, in the bank. They won't be able to meet their responsibilities. Now, if me and you did that, we'd be in jail. <laughs> you know, because mm -hmm. if you writing if you're writing checks that you can't afford to cover, you know that's fraud. So now we we have to look at this organization. Now there, there's safeguards have been placed that have been put excuse me in place, but they don't seem to have made making a lot of sense now because. As we said, this organization was created in the 70s, 1974, I think, to be exact. And so now we have more and more corporations that are not doing well. I think a lot of these corporations are purposely dumping their, their, their pension funds, and I, I believe that. Uh, we can't, I can't prove it, but I certainly do believe it, you know, and, I, and it's your fault. Yeah, and, and, I've... Let me, let me, and let me tell you why it's your fault. Because you want, and I'm going to let you finish, Lloyd, because you want your 401k to go up, right? So a lot of these corporations have figured a way that, you know, they can dump the pension funds onto you. They can dump health care onto, onto the government or whatever. And these things make a difference because now their bottom line, they don't have to uh, uh, put money or concentrate money into those areas. Yeah. And I remember, you know, it's, it's actually a disturbing pattern. I mean, from right. the Fannie Mae, on, I think, remember a few weeks back we were talking about the FDIC. Right. And we were talking about whether or not banks were going to have to contribute more money to kind of supplement to make sure that we don't right. run into I mean, we have all of these major, major, you know, government agencies that are, are affecting the economy that whether I don't, you know, it basically it comes down to you don't care what the reason is. You don't care whether or not it's right. improper training. You don't care whether or not it's lying. You, you, whatever the end result is the end result. And if, if the general population is going to wind up suffering because their money in the bank isn't safe or their pensions aren't safe or, you know, all of these other the financial institutions are, you know, giving mm -hmm. them misinformation, all of these things are happening in alarming rates and and I'm more concerned with like I said earlier the fact that somebody recognizes it's wrong puts forth a proposal that look we're going to start regulating or we're going to start doing this and then next thing you know we're 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 pulling that out in a compromise and saying well, okay we want to get this so we'll pull that out. and then it's back to business as usual well let, let's talk about protocol for example let's talk about security for example there was a situation that went on it, which I find unbelievable but, you know, and then 
they only reported this one thing, which makes me wonder what else went on. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, that thumbnail drive that they had. So I, I you know, I, I think that when you talk about people's information, people's information need to be protected. Uh, your social security number, your personal information, your financial information. Why would someone need to download that information on a thumbnail drive and then lose it in a train station parking lot? And somebody found it with 1,300 people's information. Luckily, it was someone that was honest yeah. that turned it into the to the organization. But but that, that's bad right there. You know that's bad. But what what was even worse was they came up with solutions that they were going to u utilize in a certain number of steps they were going to take. And did they take those steps? First of all, did they report that they took those steps? Well, I mean, basically... They reported to Congress and the Inspector General. They, they said that they did correct things that were not corrected. And, and, and with the thumb, the thumb drive, I mean, that's, that's an important thing also because, again, we're getting back to not just training but, you know, our lack of training, I should say. But, you, you know, there are steps for security steps mm -hmm. for issues like that. I mean, you can encrypt data to make sure, you Was know... Was this thumbnail drive encrypted? No, it wasn't encrypted, which is a problem. Was and I understand because I'm telling you, I've no. I've, I've I've worked in an environment mm -hmm. where you, when you're working with sensitive information, right. you have 50 million passwords to get into your computer, right, right. you know, and you got to remember all these things, and then the password changes every 30 days. I mean, it is a hassle, but it's a necessary hassle because the information. I mean, this is the, the thumb drive had social security numbers on it. People's identity people. could be, you yeah. know, stolen. Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 the of of what's a major concern is that the issue regarding security was a major issue discussed prior to this happening right. you know and it, it, again it was something that they said well we've cleared that up don't worry about it everything's taken care of and it wasn't 